Hello friends, this is a lovely a rainy day here in Germany. So, um, time for Maya 2018. There are lots of uh, German um, tutorials uh, on uh, Maya 2017, which I started doing last year. And um, let's go and look for the new menus here. The first one here, when you start up, uh, this is the student version here because this is for educational reasons. When you see the the brackets, the green brackets, means it's a, it's a new feature in Maya 2018. Uh, this one, for example, um, places, uh, well, a disk on, uh, on the surface and um, this is not really exciting. I press uh, the, the key F now to focus on the on the object and uh, it's not really exciting but uh, of course you can uh, find purposes to use it. Let's create a new scene and look at the next one and the next one is platonic solids that's lovely right mouse button please and here you see the pyramid the prism the pipe the helix and the gear and the soccer ball uh, let's go for the gear the gear uh, was a lot of work to do in previous versions of Maya, uh, handwork, so to say, and uh, we're gonna move the um, the, uh, the gear a little bit upwards. Press F so we see it closer, and then we want to rotate it uh, into that direction. In order to see it precisely, that's minus 73 now, that's uh, the manual rotation. Let's type in 90, press enter, so we have the correct uh, positioning now of our gear. Lovely. Um, we want to duplicate it, that's um, uh, the duplicate function, it's a S, uh, what, is, what is it called in English? Uh, ST Steuerung uh, Command, I think, yeah, it's Command D for duplicate and uh, we move the duplicate uh, slightly to the right and in order to create um, an interaction between the two of them we move this slightly in here okay that should be all right just a little bit closer maybe not too close or further up okay now, when we play the animation here, nothing happens. In case you just installed Maya 2018, it will run like mad here. Right mouse click here, uh, playback speed, set it to real time. Instead of play every frame, uh, because Maya doesn't have to do any work here, it will just rush through the animation instead of playing every single frame in real time. So. That's not, nothing's happening here. So let's rotate this, uh, uh, the, the right um, gear. And in order to see which um, rotation parameter that is, I just rotate it here. And you see it's basically the second parameter. And uh, I go to zero in the animation here. And I type in zero here, press enter and the right mouse click set key so the key is here now and I go to the end of the animation and then I make it two uh, rotations that is 720 degrees press enter and set another key now it rotates it accelerates and decelerates at the end, you see? That's the default setting, we could change that, but we won't for, for the purpose of this thing. Now we want this gear to make this one rotate. How do we do that? Um, pretty simple, really. Uh, if you haven't uh, gone to FX, do it now. And um, we will make a passive rigid body out of this gear here and you find it under um, I guess yeah uh, fields and solvers that's where we'll be um, doing our job here create a passive rigid body why a passive rigid body because we don't want it to get any forces from 
any other object in the scene. It will just behave like we want it to behave, but we want to have it hard, so other objects can feel it. The typical application for a passive rigid body is a solid surface where a ball falls onto, for example. The surface should be so solid that it doesn't react, it doesn't get rejected by the ball, for example. Now we have a... Uh, uh, nothing has happened really, but this is hard now. Uh, now let's select the other one and uh, again the same menu and we make a cr uh, an active rigid body out of it which means that um, the left gear uh, doesn't have any forces by itself it will be affected by the forces from other things and the only other thing which is in the scene is uh, the right gear so let's see what ha what's happening now you see it's floating away but it's acting already which is quite lovely and uh, the only thing we need to do now so that it stays in place is go to fields and solvers and act and insert a yeah where is it a hinge constraint yeah a hinge constraint is here is the hinge already but of course chosen to a uh, the wrong direction. While I rotate this into this direction, forward, so to say, uh, let's look what's happening here. Which parameter I change? It's the middle one again. So I always almost did it right. 90 degrees. And now let's see what the animation is about. Basically this rigid body has um, a hinge now, meaning that it cannot float away somewhere else. So it has to stay there in the rotation uh, scenery, so to say. And um, now the animation plays like this. And we have two rotating wheels. And um, there is a slight error somewhere in between. You see here you get an error message, which means you have to adjust the two gears a little bit, maybe the positioning, maybe the rotation at the beginning, in order to let it stay in place. And uh, it's sometimes funny to see how they escape anyway, uh, because the solver has a problem solving that, that thing. But basically this is the start of um, the uh, interaction between two gears, and I've used this new feature here in Maya 2018, the gear primitive. Cheers.